Hello, YouTube. My name is Woodsy, and today we're in a game called Omega Strike. Let me move the mouse over there. Uh, so, it's a Metroidvania-esque thing, and the look of it reminds me of a game called Mercenary Kings that came out a few years ago. Anyways, we're gonna check it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hard mode. Let's do it, because we're awesome. It all started with a top-secret military research project. A team of scientists led by the brilliant Dr. Alphonse Omega. Their goal was to enhance the capabilities of ordinary soldiers, make them better, faster, stronger, like a Daft Punk song. They created the Alpha Elixir. It's a copyrighted thing close to the thing that made Captain America strong. The military leaders were pleased. The elixir was wildly administered among the armed forces to increase performance exactly as Dr. Omega had planned, just like opium did to the Chinese armies in the earlier centuries. After a while, the th changes began. Soldiers turned into ferocious mutants under the control of Dr. Omega. The remaining forces had little chance against the mutant hordes. All resistance was crushed. Look at me. I am a Dr. Wily clone. Free to conduct his foul experiments on the population. Only a small group of people like Budget Cyclops, Generic Action Hero B, and Baldy. Alright, <laughs> meanwhile in the resistance side, I was having fun with that. Welcome to the briefing, gentlemen. Dr. Omega's forces are already crawling in the cavern, so I'll try to keep this brief. Our leading scientist, Professor Einhorn, has come up with a new plan to defeat Dr. Omega. You're going to fight his enemies and kill him. We'll provide you with more details. Professor has also sent a little gizmo, a handheld teleporter. Each of you has unique talents you can now put to good use. I need to warp right into each situation. Meanwhile, the rest of you can remain out of sight. This will attract less attention. It's apparent if you find Professor Einhorn. God, I'm sleeping. Oh boy, I don't even know what this is. Uh, swap. Special. Jump. Shoot. Okay. I don't have a special yet? Are you kidding me? Hey, man. Swap two different characters by pressing here. I have all have their own. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna grab Budget Cyclops. He is a shotgun. Ooh. Hang on, kick some mutant butt? Nope. Not at all. You can tell the general turn the heat back on and freeze my balls off. <gasps> oh my god, this game has bad words. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Not really. Press the attack button to fire. Hold the button to fire continuously. Yay. Yeah, so this is a Metroidvania, and already from the get-go, I am 98% certain uh, people are going to speedrun this. I mean, people speedrun close to anything anyway, but I am like 98% certain I might, we might see this at a GDQ. Because this seems like one of those games. Metroidvanias are just always one of those things that people love speedrunning anyway. And... I don't know. This this game looks like it has great potential. The art is great. The gameplay is nice and easy. I mean, okay, not not you know easy, but it's you know it's very it's very easy to play. I should say, not necessarily the difficulty curve. Hold down, and you can fall through platforms, just like almost every game in existence with platforms. I really am bad at this. Realistically, I could probably just jump through all these. That's a weird... Okay. Dex can leap higher than other characters with double jump ability. Two health points. Oh, boy. Okay, I can shoot up, but I can't shoot down. Seems like a little, little bit of an odd choice to me, if you ask me, but okay. But then again, who the fuck's asking me? 
Healthy health. Yay. From the pause menu inventory. Restores 12 health points. Shit, I don't even have 12 health points. I only have 8. God damn it. Bear is the strongest. Oh, okay. He can even move boulder. Ah, he's strong like bull. Really? Isn't that supposed to be like a grenade launcher? Is this a fall? To my death? Oh, is that like... Yeah, okay. Hmm. I don't know. Let's, let's try a generic McGeneric face. Ah, so my damage is kind of shit with him. Let's go see what's over here, I guess. Uh, interesting. Uh, not the whole hey, shite. Thank you. Not a whole hell of a lot. Okay. Um. What was gonna say, please? Ah, I got the golden skull of golden skull skull stuff. Okay. I guess he's just the he's just the best overall to use because his weapon is the strongest. Ah, uh, probably a good idea to heal. Okay. No oh god, no. No oh, no. Yeah, we're fine. We're probably fine. I don't know. Ooh, a game save and a healy heal. Nice. Uh, for some odd reason, that bat reminded me a bit of like the ghosts from Mario, like the booze. I don't know. It kind of just sat there when I turned around. It moved. Oh, okay. So they're just gonna truck along regardless of what they do. I guess I probably could just run through all this stuff, but I don't know. Isn't... Ah, fuck! <laughs> Isn't half the fun of a game to, you know... Oh, oh, I, I see. Okay, so I actually hit the enemy, which means it does damage to me. God damn it. Ah, my face. Give me that food. I use my heal pack if I really need it, but I don't know if I really need it. Okay, we're fine actually. Pretty sure we're pretty sure we're golden. Kind of interested to see what one of the bosses are here in this game. I guess that's a quick way to get um, up a ladder quicker. It's just to use this double jump. Oh god! Ooh. Okay, I'm actually going to use that. Oh well, that's just that's just great. Damn it. Oh my god. Does he take three hits? No, okay, he didn't. Oh, he's really terrible at this. Yeah. Oh, hello. 
Mutant bastard shot me up pretty good. I took the power core from the security, slow him down. It's right next to me. You can use it to take the security. Good luck. You're gonna die, aren't you? Yeah, you are. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know if this gold's gonna do much. It'll probably. Ooh, nice. A life cube. Ah, I see. God damn it. The problem is, I you know I have no more healy heals. So when I die, at this point, I'm going to die. Whew. Uh, was it over here? I don't remember where that where that core thingy was. Oh, that was close. Ah, uh, no! Oh, thank god. Oh, that was really close. No! No! Don't shoot me, please, no! Can I guess? Oh, oh, thank God. Okay, we we are saved. We are saved by the fact that I really just luck out a lot of the time. I think it was over here. Power core? Yeah. Sweet. Boss fight? Probably a boss fight coming up. Oh man, platforming. What am I gonna do? Those things look like a terrible Caterpie, don't they? Actually, they look like kind of an adorable Caterpie. What am I talking about? Not terrible. Damn it. Nice. Nice. Okay. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah, I'm I'm good. I am good. I may as well just start speedrunning this game. I mean, it has a it has a pretty cool dynamic where you know you pretty much have to uh, switch between the characters and all that. Yeah, I I took that damage. I definitely took that damage full well knowing that I suck. The big problem with it with games like this, at least from like for me, is the interconnected map. Is something that I'm always gonna get really like messed up with you know cuz games with interconnected maps are nice but at the same time you don't know where the hell you're going yeah boss fight fudge fudge your nutters well 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 what do we have here looks like the good professor finally got his teleporter working look who's let's see hiding on the other end shall we bro really your friends make excellent test subjects from the late experiments. You are not so lucky. Dozak, get in here to spot this rebel scum. Are you kidding? I have to use generic McGeneric face? I will I will crush you like worm. Ah! Okay, so he's actually pretty simple. Damn it. Stop it. Stop that. Damn it, motherfucker. Okay, so. What you pretty much have to do. Do we really have to watch the cutscene over and over again? Can I can I really not can I really not skip this? Oh, okay. Okay, so let him jump to you. 
Fuck you, buddy. Damn it, I'm used to the double jump now. God dang it. Stop it. Oh, I don't know what it is that he's doing. Oh, I have to watch the cutscene every time. That, I'm sorry, that, like, developer, please, please, like, make it so that you can just jump straight into the boss fight, hopefully. If that's, if that's at all possible. Oh, I understand the reason why they take the other dudes, so you have to get good with each one of them. But I fudge and do not like generic mimic gen generic mimic generic pants, you know? No! Are you kidding me? Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, the whole thing is you... You just gotta have to dodge whenever he jumps and then just run behind him right before he, you know, starts firing, but... Ah, oh, it's so difficult. Not having this double jump sucks. I assume that we also get the special abilities at each after this fight, maybe? Because, I mean, it says there's a button. There's a button that says special. Don't! God damn it, this is terrible. Did I... I mean, I got his half health like halfway down. Yeah. You just, you just have to, I guess you just have to get the timing right. I'll try like one more time and then we're done. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I will crush you like sparrows egg in between my thigh. Damn it. Don't shoot me in the face. God dang it. Yeah, okay. Well, I got his health like halfway down. Anyways, this is Omega Strike. Go check it out. You will probably get much more frustrated at it than I will and try and beat it. Uh, cool game, though. Definitely a cool game. I love Metroidvanias, and it's it has the uh, old school feel. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.